So I want some way to talk on the board now and write the Rama the culture. Mm -hmm. Write the Rama the culture. I, I am very tired writing the Rama the culture. I want to see you write the Rama the culture. And the class will assist you as you write it. Vishesh. You can try it. Very good. Very good. Very good. So I will keep a seat. Thank <laughs> you. 
going to be very entertaining. <laughs> Very good. 
I want you to do. No, no, stop. No, no, no. Without turning the page, without looking anywhere, just. No, 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 you see. Come on. No, 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 is a what type of noun? Masculine, Masculine noun ending in. Uh -huh. uh, very good.
And then once I see the check, the check here will be like, copy my rule. <laughs> see where you are at, see where you are at, see where you should be. I was walking around and pointing out some mistakes and yet still I don't realize that he's still there. Parvadeshu, 
Da, da, da ist ein Amount of Divination. Right? Okay, so we still need a lot of practice with Ramama. And simultaneously, if we need practice with Ramama, obviously we need practice with Vana. Right? So, as, uh, why, why I made you do that? Just to see where you are, because last week I said we were going to wonder Sita. Feminine noun ending in A. Because so far we've dealt with a masculine neuter. Is that true or not? Masculine neuter. Rama, Vanam, and yet there's no feminine. Tang God. Right? So there's no feminine noun ending in a. Right? So now from a, I wanted to move on to a. Where there are no masculine and neutral nouns. So we have feminine. Right? But when I say don't have any, you might find one or two somewhere or other in some scripture, some masculine noun ending in a. But we focus on feminine nouns ending in a, masculine and neutral nouns ending in a. Right? So, I wanted to start this, but we need a lot more practice right here. Right here. So, we will pull up on that for now. But what we will do, we will do something a little fun. Let's start making Sanskrit conversation. Okay? And you? Pranama. Pranama. But what is her name? Very good answer. I said, but what is her name? You know that for you what? There's no question mark in Sanskrit. I'll call it a question. But what the hell is now okay? What is your name? Yes, right? Because I'm sure you're going to forget about next week. But what the hell is now okay? So, but this is for us. Meal. You would ask a meal, Vashish, how is it called? The response is, Shiv, how is it called? Very good. Mama Nama, da da da. So actually, Bhavata is what is? Bhavata here, yes. Bhavata here. Later what we do, it comes from the root Bu, which means to be. And look, this is this is later. Mama Nam so on so on so on. So Vishish, Baba Nam Kim. Mama Nam. Mama Nam Vishish. Very good. Hi, Baba Nam Kim. Mama Nam. Mama Nam Amit. Very good. Umbuji, Baba Nam Kim. Mama Nam Richard. Mama Nam Richard. Right. Now this is not a gender bias religion. So we also has how we ask a female. That is a mama nama or mama nama. Mama nama. Mama nama. Mama nama is Hindi. Mama nama. Again, we do what is? Pronounce it. Rama. In Sanskrit, it's Rama. In Hindi, it's Ram. Make sure you are clear in your mind what you are doing. Mama, Nama. If you say Mama Nam, that's Hindi. Mama Nama, Ish. So, but if you come here now, you have to ask Baba Yama, Nama, Kim. The response will be really easy. Mama Nama, so on. Bhavadiyaha. So, Anji, Bhavadiyaha Namakim. 
Very good. Mama Nama Sita. What was the other name again? No. No, no. No, no. Mama Nama Sita. Yeah, Mama Nama. See, listen to what she said. Mama Nama. Nama. Very good. You see? Yeah, very good. Very good. Right? So, we start making the language conversation. Bhavadha Namakim, Bhavadhyaha Namakim. Bhavadha Namakim, Bhavadhyaha Namakim. Both responses, he says, Mama Nama, live in the Right. Bhavadha. Bhavadha, Nama, say to me, Bhavadha. Nama, Kim. Bhavadha, Nama, Kim. This is for a meal. Bhavat Yaha Bhavat Yaha Nama Kim Bhavat Yaha Nama Kim What is your name in Tanah? Or two if you do. Right. So, I will start giving you guys some small small little things like this. So, from a time when you pronounce it, right? You pronounce it in Nama, Nama, right? Yeah. 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 That's it. Isn't it Namaha? No, no. You can put it or you can leave it out. Alright? You can put it or you can leave it out. Alright? Because here, what you pronounce it, sometimes you don't pronounce it. Alright? But basically, it's Bhavadha Namaha. And Bhavadha, yes. Go on the first one. The question is, what is your name? Yeah. What is your name? Right. The response is, my name is. Mm -hmm. Right? And then you put um, Mama, mm -hmm. Nam, mm -hmm. and then you put the name. What about your food? Mm -hmm. Very good, Uncle. So, Uncle asks a very advanced question there. There is something in Sanskrit called us. To be. To be. Mm -hmm. I am. You are, he sure it is, uh, and it's conjugated in the same way as any other verb. But us, it's a to be. It's not one thing which we, we are doing right now. So, us in third person, singular, it's Asti. Asti. And Asti, you can either put it or you could drop it. Once, a, once you see a line that doesn't have a verb, Asti is considered. But that is. Okay. That is very, very powerful. But very, very good question. Very good question. Because here also, but in this case, here is good. Because it comes from the book. book. Right? But what her now? Now okay. But when you answer it, if you have a C, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. But with it, you don't really, in, in conversation of per se, you don't really need it. Even in your writing, if you go through some of the texts, if you don't see a book, a C is. But in the Mm -hmm. Why why using third person plural? No, because as me, or you could use as me. You mean first person singular because you say I am. The entire the entire conjugation oh. is assumed. You know it comes from us to be. Right? But that's a second conjugation for as many words. So we'll do that later. As me, swaha, smaha, asi, staha, sta, asti. I remember. Mm -hmm. You are plural. No. Third person plural is. Stop. And then Sunday. So that's that's a, a declension all by itself. Right? Which we will deal with later. But right now, Baba Dhanamkim, Baba Namas, so on, so on. 
Bhagatiyah Namakim, Nama Nama Swans. Alright. So, if you're walking on your oh, you're doing Sanskrit. Count the ten for me in Sanskrit. <laughs>
for my standard ones. I will write it in English. But you guys are not my standard ones. You are standard trees. Egom. Dwe. Trini. Chatvari. Pancha. Egom. Dwe. Trini. Chatvari. Pancha. One, two, three, four, five. Pancha. This na. Yes, it's a na and a cha. It's called a compound. Also one. You did it with Swami Ji already. Yes, you didn't know. He showed you ta and cha. That's just that. No. Dwe. Dwe. That's a d with a verb. With a e. And we get dwe. Dwe. Alright, let me write it in English. Ekam, Ekam, Dwe, Trini, Trini, Chadvari, Chadvari, Pancha. Alright, now we move on to ten. Yes. Pancha, Pancha. Yeah. That's there wasn't severe dot there, there was severe uh, 
的，真的。Let's start. Sorry. Okay. Why? Why you can't see what? I was going to shoot you. Cut one, take it. That's it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just, just represent this. Let's do it. Do you see? Do you, when, you, when, you, when you're pronouncing it, right? Let, let's do the first two lines of, of the vowel. K, k, g, g, h, m. Ch, 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 ch. So you do say k. Like a cut. If you say cut, cut will be the word for the word. Yeah, cut. Yeah. You say ch. It's a silent ch. Yeah. Ch, ch, no, no, not in touch. I mean, me and you get to touch. In touch with the C. Maybe it's very good for C H for Ch and C H H. Ch, ch, ch. This is the other letter. Yeah, but I'm going to change the letter. Because I see what we use here in any text or in any book you're going, you see the exact same name is fine. It's a standard. So if we decide to change it and you learn it like that, when you go and you see it, you pronounce it wrong. So it's better you learn it directly wrong. So it's always better you learn it directly wrong. Alright. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, I've got a little bit of five. Six is. One to ten.
Ramasya, Rama Yoho, Rama Yoho, Rame, Rama Yoho, Rame Shu, E Rama, E Rama, E Rama. Very good reciting after them. So you know I must be able to say it so that I will recite after you. Alright, let's take one of the Kurusha Sukta.